Welcome back. We've shown you a few ways that you can integrate some simple elements into your UCI, and now let's take a look at some of the advanced cases. Now, here we have a simple but effective application. Now, you've seen how to pull a custom image into your background, but let's take that a step further. This background is designed to make a UCI look more like a physical mixer deck. It has some labeled plates around the fader, and on the bottom of each one, there's a fake masking tape with some hand-drawn labels that really give it a live show feel. The functionality of this UCI is pretty simple. Just some faders, meters, and some mute buttons. But the style of the design gives a great feel. These buttons are actually custom images with a transparency in the text. And they've used some custom scripting so that when you click on the image, the button beneath it is triggered. So it looks like the word solo is lighting up. On the next page, we've made our own buttons for some simple actions controlling our audio player, which is a pretty easy thing to do, and you can keep your buttons in line with the aesthetic of the rest of the UCI. Another common use for UCIs is to create a ground plan of your venue that gives you quick access to specific areas. Now, for this, we took a line drawing blueprint of the arena, then built a series of polygons to represent the different sections of it. We've applied the mute button control to these polygons, which means that they can quickly mute different sections of their arena just by touching that part of the blueprint, or by using these presets on the side, which are linked to the different snapshots. We did the same thing for their concourse, which goes around the arena, but this time using simple buttons rather than polygons, and then they put the master control right here in the middle. You can take this idea even farther if you want to by getting even more detailed images. If you use Google SketchUp, for example, you can build a 3D model of your venue. For a stadium like this, someone may have already done the work for you, and all you have to do is download it. And then you can find an angle that you like, let's say right here, and then export an image of this. And then we'll use some editing software like Photoshop and to create some transparencies in the areas that you want. And then use that to create an interactive design. Take a look at this completed one. The underlying buttons are still simple polygons, but with the image on top having the sections already cut out, you can get some great detail or effects like this shadow on the upper deck. Now the last thing I want to show you isn't necessarily mind-blowing, but I think it's pretty useful. There's a component in the layout branch of your schematic library called the pop-up button. This is intended specifically for UCIs, and you can use it to create another window that expands or collapses when you click the pop-up button. This gives you quick access to either hide or show some controls without having to navigate to a different page. See, maybe you can use this in one of the sections in your stadium, and then you could fill the pop-up window with the status information of the amplifiers in that area. You can make the pop-up window as large as you want and pull it into any side of the original button. You can see that with a little creativity, you can create some visually compelling UCIs that's easy and intuitive for your end user to operate. By putting only select controls in the user's hands, you can turn pages and pages of complicated schematic into a simple device that anyone can use. And remember, if you don't want just anyone to use it, you can restrict access to certain UCIs using the QSIS administrator. Check out our administrator tutorial for more information on that. And until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.